Hiya, I'm in the village of St Mullins in County Carlow and I've just come across the coolest looking house. It's down there by the water. This is Yolanda's home. She shares it with Rene. So you're, you're oh, Dutch? Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's not good. finished yet. We just, I did this uh, last summer and I'm working on it. I'm not in a rush. Okay. Yolanda gives me the tour. Why have you got all the fridges here? Uh, now for storage and I was thinking of doing other things with it but this is handy for storage actually. That's great. Yeah, yeah. Oh, those, that wood is amazing. Yeah, that's here uh, from, I think, 94. Wow. Yeah, it's coming out of uh, Bahana wood. Really? Yeah, yeah. So it's still here. <laughs> It just wasn't a big ash tree, but it came down and Rene started to, to make an egg from it. Despite the very individual mark they've put on their home, it's a place of sadness and frustration and for Yolanda too. On the corner, that's cell two. This is Yolanda and Rene's dream. They came here in the 1990s and bought what they thought was the ultimate green project, a home that generated electricity. Where Yolanda and Renee live is a garage built for trucks for the flour mill behind it. The mill closed in the mid 1960s, and one of the pieces of equipment that was left was a hydroelectric turbine. This is actually the, the hydro here. We bought it for the hydroelectric power plant to produce electricity. Oh. That's the whole purpose why we came here. Yeah. Okay. There's an 80 kilowatt uh, hydroelectricity plant. And that's why we bought it. Oh. And we thought we produce some electricity, get the organic garden going, and that was the whole idea. We thought it was our pension. Initially, Rene and Yolanda fell out with their Dutch partner. Then they were in dispute with some of the locals. The locals got concerned because they thought we were going to close off the key. They had no access anymore, and now. Now, and for many years, they've been in dispute with the local county council. They say Carlo County Council wants to compulsorily purchase their home to develop the whole area. Yolanda and Rene are resisting that, and the murals and graffiti are one response to the council. Uh, just to brighten up the thing a bit. And, uh it was actually a statement, statement just as to the council was uh, claiming ownership somehow. This dispute, Yolanda and Rene say, has stopped them developing their site. Now you see how the place looks like, the state it is in, the, I'm ashamed actually that it is like this, but we getting blamed that the place is in such a state, you know. Why are you ashamed? I think it looks nice. Yeah, but I'm used to other standards, you know. Okay. I never thought that we had a lovely house in Holland, we sold everything. And but actually everything was very comfy. And now, oh, I love it the way it is, but it's not the way we had imagined that we would end up. Nevertheless, it hasn't stopped them developing a unique place to live. This is all removable. Oh, I see. Yeah, yeah, you can, you can just take it away. All right. If we leave, we bring everything with us. Okay. <laughs> uh, it was a temporary solution. But the temporary solution is uh, a permanent 
You can have a look if you like. Oh. <laughs> it's lovely. I, it's I, so cozy. Uh, yeah, yeah. I think the so skateboards under the chair are fantastic. Oh, yeah. <laughs> But uh, Rene, that he is full of uh, oh, he's great, yeah, yeah, yeah. And I love the way you're still loyal to to Holland. Oh yeah, Despite the uncertainty they live under, Yolanda still relishes living beside the barrow. After all those years, I think this is still the most special place there is. Yeah, every day I'm amazed when I wake up and I see the river and everything. Yeah, that's not changed, not at all. <laughs> no.